Hi everyone, so today I thought I might do an update on Farmer's World. It's probably been ages since I've done a video on Farmer's World, so you must be uh, wondering what my thoughts about the game is, uh, particularly uh, now that it's changed so much. Like these token prices, if you scroll back to my previous videos, these prices are minuscule compared to where they were like just a few months ago. So the fact that they're so low right now, it's just uh, baffling. Uh, but that's just where we're at right now. Um, mind you, I've got a lot more tools since that time. So, um, last year I didn't have a chainsaw in it. Oh, well, actually, the end of last year I had a chainsaw. Uh, but when I used to be making these videos, I didn't have a chainsaw. So, obviously, things have moved up in this world. Um, but actually, you're in less now because uh, the, these items just aren't producing uh, tokens that are worth as much as they used to. So you probably earned more back in the days when you just had like a axe or a saw. Um, and even now with a chainsaw, uh, the prices have fallen so much that you actually earn less uh, with a chainsaw than you did like a few months with other lower tier tools. Uh, but that's just reality. Um, this is um, how things have just appeared so far, particularly with these type of games. They just have like a really flawed like economic like yeah it's just like a really flawed economic model uh that just kind of really relies on things turning out well um and, and in terms of growth like the minute growth um stalls or the crypto market falls like it is falling right now uh things just start to really really drop in a really really bad way um so right now what i'm really just focused on is i'm just trying to build more tools and also occasionally selling some of these tools to put towards other games, like say Warspace, which I've uh, done that video on. And I'll do more videos on Warspace coming up, because I think that one is probably the next game that has that farmer's world potential. And, you know, uh, it's always good to diversify between two games. So even though I do love farmer's world, I think you do want to play other games as well. Uh, just to make sure you're diversified in terms of what you're doing. Um, yeah, so even though I've got like so many saws and like two chainsaws, um, yeah, it just doesn't feel as much as it used to be. Um, but it's really fun. It's really nice to have the top tier tools. Uh, but, you know, that is just the reality of the game so far. I think we're probably missing an update. Um, the minute we have an update, I think maybe that's when we actually start to you know get, make more room in terms of the price possibly heading upwards uh until then um you know it's hard to tell where the price is going ahead uh so we look at the tokens like uh currently gold is slightly higher than wood uh there, for a while wood was uh the leading contender it was you know above gold by quite a bit and by food by quite a lot um, but these, but since um, I think people are just producing a lot of wood, uh, which kind of makes me, you know, at the current moment with this current pricing, um, I just generally just sell into the market because I think um, this pricing probably won't hold, not especially not if there's no announcements because I think um, there's too many people producing wood, but there's not enough uses for wood. Uh, namely in crafting, so I think people are just happy to sell. Um, oh, I don't think that... Oh, actually, I was going to withdraw. Um, I, I skipped a step. I didn't actually withdraw this token. So every time like it goes like 5%, I just withdraw. Um, and then I just use that wax to usually buy into other games. Um, but I did it... Yeah, I was considering like buying into uh, more tools. But for the time being, I'm just going to wait a little bit longer. Like When the prices come down, then I generally focus on buying more tools. Like when the price was like 0.1 or around there, I was focused on buying more tools. Uh, then it went to like 0.2. And after that, I was just like, oh, well, actually, the pricing is actually really good. Um, especially what I'm earning. I'm happy with the earnings. So I'm just happy to just keep selling down. Um, and then, you know. Uh, just see how that goes. Uh, like a as it stands, I produce something like four thousand wood, uh, so which is you know not too bad. 
points so like selling like 1500 um you know at 0.166 nets me 252 wax uh which isn't too bad um and yeah like each, each day i earn if we go to this calculator here you know earn about uh it's probably over 500 wax because it doesn't actually include the cows uh, it, and the cows themselves earn about like 37 wax assuming they produce that three milk each um, which isn't too bad so it's one of those things that I think it's going to keep ticking along um, it's around that area where it's stable uh, but it can't actually for me I think like if there's no good news um, eventually it just drops back down uh, particularly with this current market um, but of course we'll just see how things go um, yeah, I don't think there's like a lot that's happening lately in this game. Um, but it's nice to see that it's still ticking along. Um, okay, so it looks like I'm out of food. Sometimes I just like, uh, buy extra food from the, the, the market, even though it's probably cheaper on Atomic Hub. Um, if I've got like cows that are waiting for food, I just prefer to just feed them the food first. Um, and then I'll just buy from Atomic Hub later. Uh, hence why I sell my wood, because it gives me extra wax to just go buy extra items like barley and stuff like that. Um, or if I need food, I usually buy a bit more food as well. Um, and yeah, I think it's not too bad currently. Um, <clears throat> yeah, some, sometimes it doesn't update this. Uh, okay, yeah, sometimes if the buttons don't update... You just have to do a complete refresh, uh, which usually does help. Like, you, you underestimate how often just a simple refresh will do, and it just fixes everything. Uh, so, yeah, that's usually my fix for most things anyway, just to uh, turn it off and turn it back on, um, and no matter what it is, I guess. And it usually works all right. Um, but I have been noticing, like, there's, uh, the cows haven't been... Uh, moving, like, yeah, I think the buttons haven't been as good lately. Uh, but, you know, it could be them, the developers changing the scripts occasionally, or it's just, yeah, something's wrong. Hmm, okay, I swear I brought, like, yeah, like, surely I brought, like, hmm, okay, well, I'll have to investigate that later, because the barley is not showing, um, but yeah but in terms of uh the game itself um i think it's at a stable point but it does need further features like the developing team says oh they're coming up an update soon uh but this update couldn't come soon enough because um the game's kind of stagnating too much um and over time the token's just going to drop back like we're at a really really good point at uh 0.2 uh, but it looks like we're going to be drifting back down to the, this, uh, these lows again uh, quite soon if things don't, um, you know, if nothing good comes in. Uh, but yeah, we'll see how that goes. Um, like I think the good strategy is when it comes down low, that's when you try to build more items. And when it comes back up, that's when you sell those uh, resources that those items produce. And then you, you, you know, you accumulate your wax um, just to use for other things. Uh, never underestimate the, you know, what holding wax will do when you need it. Uh, especially when the prices are low. Because it just opens up a huge opportunity for you to buy things when they're cheap. Um, hence why I just hold a bit more wax than I usually do. Um, just because, uh, firstly, I'm holding the capacity, like, I have two silver memberships, and basically, it means I can hold six wood items, and I've got two chainsaws, four saws, and that's the max I can hold, so I can't really hold any more. Um, the strategy is, eventually, I'll produce another chainsaw, so I'll, you know, dispose of these saws. Um, over time uh, currently I'm not that motivated to change it yet maybe when the pricing falls and uh, it's much cheaper to change a chainsaw like a chainsaw got to like 2000 wax which was like really really low 
Um, so potentially I'll wait for um, those lows to come back again and then maybe I'll do that. Um, yeah, it looks like uh, food. Food's not doing too badly. Like food is actually a fishing boat actually earns more than a chainsaw. So, you know, sometimes never underestimate these uh cheaper tools that sometimes uh, it just takes a change in pricing and they do better and the same with gold gold is doing really well as well um, so it just looks like it's wood uh, maybe too much wood was produced um, so now we're watch watching food and gold do really well uh, so that's probably one of my flaws is I completely focused on wood uh, though I, I kind of enjoyed the part where I've got two silver memberships and that means I only have to check on this every five hours whereas if I start from scratch with these other items I gotta mine it every hour and um, yeah I, I think if you've been in these games for so long you just don't have that motivation to mine every hour uh, so you know that's just how I feel anyway but eventually I do need to head into food uh, gold memberships are a bit too expensive, so I probably will never head into that. Um, but for fishing boats, I'll probably get into that eventually at some stage when things are cheap enough. Um, but yeah, I think uh, farming is not too bad. Uh, if you do, well, yeah, barley, 26 wax um, per barley or 39 per corn. So, you know, that's always an option. Chicken's not really, really not worth it. Seven days and you get 68 wax. At least for the barley, you can do like eight. So at least the earnings is a bit better. Um, but yeah, I'm sometimes I'm not that motivated for farming. Like I think I accidentally did one barley because I was just like, oh, actually I was trying to buy to feed my cow and then I actually brought one seed so I'm like oh actually all right I'll plant that one seed because well you know that's yeah I think that's all I really want to do at the moment I think I'm just happy to just come back every five hours um, as you can see about a five year um, currently it's at zero but once it goes five out of five I come back, I click and collect, and then I'm off again to do other things, or play other games, or go research something, um, and yeah, that's about what I do on Farmers World these days, so in, in a way I'm active, but not that active, uh, because there's not really a ton left to do, um, yeah, I could be more active, and I could also do the farming stuff as well, uh, but I think I'm at the stage, I'm pretty happy with just the wood tools, um, but yeah, let me know what your strategy is. Are you still playing Farmer's World or have you moved on to a different game? Um, uh, I, I am playing other games. Um, I'll probably do videos on those games as well. Um, and then, but I think it's Farmer's World probably is by far still the good one, the best one, because it's just holding up so strongly. Um, but I think Warspace has a possible chance that it's going to be a very strong contender when it comes to um you know the gameplay and the profitability i think war space is possibly a good one um but you know there's mixed opinions of course some people think it's good some people think it's bad um but at the end of the day i think the game hasn't launched yet so we don't know um and sam farmer's world everyone's got mixed opinions about farmer's world some people think it's good some people think it's bad um, at the end of the day, like, I think it's just up to your own perspectives, um, yeah, like, I found it good anyway, like, I, I, yeah, I, I thoroughly, technically, I enjoy these kind of strategic, uh, economic, uh, type of games, uh, whereas some people might not, and that's very fair, um, but yeah, I think that's really all I have to really say about Farmer's World, because not really much has happened, uh, there's not really many big updates, like literally when I made those videos like a few months ago, that's when farming was already in, and I think that was basically like the last feature that really came in. Um, they have put like two-factor authentication in here, um, so you can always like enable two-factor authentication, uh, and that just provides you a bit more security, like I'll probably be doing that eventually, um, and then uh yeah like 
with crafting you've also got the discount coupons which they added in like i don't think many people use these but uh that's all that's always an option that you can use uh but yeah i apart from that i don't think they've really added much like nothing in terms of gameplay so yeah i think it's just more or less um they're taking their time like i think from my personal point of view like this is just a hunch i think they're like they were talking about a farm verse that they're building like i think they were basically rehauling redoing the whole game so that they can basically start from scratch and then build a whole new um kind of for armverse that has all new code and uh yeah basically new everything and i think that's what's taking them so long uh they probably underestimated the time it would take so i think that's why there's a big delay uh but you know that's just my hunch anyway yeah uh, it could just be they're all on holiday they don't care anymore and they're just you know happy earning what they're earning um which probably is a lot uh, but we never know, um, so we'll see how things go, until then, um, yeah, I think there's not much we can do except play the game and just wait, uh, until then, uh, good luck playing.